Let's continue with graph of simple harmonic motion. Let's start with displacement time graph. From the general equation of displacement as a function of time, we have x is equals to a sine omega t. So, this is the graph where y axis is the displacement x and x axis is the time t. The graph shape is sine curve and the maximum point is its maximum amplitude and the minimum point is the minimum amplitude and also the time for one oscillation which is the period. Next, we have velocity time graph. From the general equation of velocity as a function of time in simple harmonic motion, we have V is equals to A omega cos omega t. So, this is the graph where the y axis is the velocity, the x axis is the time t, and the graph shape is cos curve, with its maximum point is the value of A omega, and its minimum point is the value of negative A omega, and also the time for one oscillation, which is the period. We also have the acceleration time graph, where from the general equation of the acceleration as a function of time, we have A is equals to negative A omega squared sine omega t. So this is the graph where the y axis is the acceleration A, the x axis is the time t, and the graph shape is sine curve. But since it is negative, hence the graph is sketched from the negative side of the y axis. The maximum point is the value of A omega squared, and the minimum point is the value of negative A omega squared. And also, we have the time for one oscillation, which is the period. Now, I will show you how do we sketch the graph of simple harmonic motion. The first step is we have to compare the given equation with the general equation. Either it is the displacement equation of x is equals to a sine omega t or the velocity equation where v is equals to a omega cos omega t or the acceleration equation where a is equals to negative a omega squared sine omega t. From the comparison, we then need to identify the value of amplitude A, angular frequency omega, and the initial phase angle phi. And then, determine the period T by using the value of omega and substitute that into the equation of T is equals to 2 pi over omega. Step number 2, draw the y and x axis, label with the proper values and units. Step number 3, sketch the graph, either it is a sine curve or cos curve. Lastly, if the equation have the initial phase angle, we have to shift the graph following to these rules, where if the phase angle is positive, we have to shift the y axis to the right. If the value of the phase angle is negative, we have to shift the y axis to the left. Let's see an example. Sketch the x against t graph for the following expression, where we have x is equals to 5 cm sine 2 pi t plus pi. As we compare to the equation of displacement a equals to sine omega t plus phi, we can identify the value of amplitude a as 5 cm, angular frequency omega as 2 pi, and the phase angle as pi. And then, we can calculate the value of period t is equals to 2 pi over omega and then the value is 1 second. Next step is to draw the x axis and the y axis and then label it completely. For the y axis is x in centimeter and for the x axis is time in second. And then label all the values for the amplitude and also for the time and period. Next. The graph is sine curve and then we have the phase angle as pi so we have to shift the y axis to the right and then complete the curve for one oscillation. So this is the final answer. Now we want to discuss on what is the relationship of displacement time, velocity time and acceleration time graph. Here we have a mass attached on a spring, where the green arrow shows its velocity and the yellow arrow shows its acceleration. As the spring is stretched to a point A where it has maximum amplitude, at this position, the velocity of the mass is zero. 
and the acceleration is maximum. But it has negative value because it is at the opposite direction to the displacement. Then, as it goes back to the equilibrium position where we denote that as point B, here the displacement is zero, but the velocity is maximum and the amplitude is zero. After that, as the mass moves to the minimum amplitude at point C, here the velocity drops back to zero, but the acceleration is maximum. This happens repeatedly until it completes one oscillations. Next, we have energy displacement graph. For kinetic energy, we have K is equals to half m omega a squared minus x squared. This is the shape of the graph. And for the potential energy, we have U is equals to half m omega squared x squared. So, this is the shape of the graph. Lastly, for the total energy, as we have the kinetic energy as this one, and the potential energy as this one, so the total energy will be straight line as E is equals to half m omega squared a squared. Now, is quiz time. The question. The displacement of an oscillating object as a function of time is shown in the figure below. From the graph above, determine the amplitude, period, angular frequency, and the equation of displacement. Here we have the displacement time graph. The amplitude is the maximum point where we have 15 cm. The period is the time taken for one complete oscillation. So we have 0.8 second. The angular frequency, we have to calculate from the equation omega is equals to 2 pi over t. Hence, lastly, we have the answer as 2.5 pi radian per second. And lastly, for the equation of displacement, we have x is equals to a sine omega t. As we substitute that, lastly, we got the answer as x is equals to 15 sine 2.5 pi t where x is in centimeter and t is in second. That's all. Thank you.